So you might be trying to figure out how you can passcode lock Facebook on your iPhone. Now doing this is very basic. All you'll need is the shortcuts application on your iPhone and the Facebook app. So we're going to be following a set of basically parameters and basically like systems in order to set this up. So this is what the final product is going to look like. If you kind of know how to use shortcuts, you can just set it up yourself right here. But for those of you who don't know, what you want to do first of all is you want to make your way over to your shortcuts application. So when you do that, you'll come into this particular page. And what you want to do is you want to click on the shortcuts app page at the very bottom and you want to click at the plus button at the top right now it's going to bring you into this page now what we're going to do is we're going to have a little prompt that basically asks for input so what we want is we want to click add action we want to click on the search bar and we type in ask and usually the ask for input will come up you want to tap on the ask for input option and you want to go ahead and ask for text with this prompt. Now the prompt can be anything. In this case, we'll just type in password. That way we remember to type in a password of some sort. And then what we wanna do is we wanna add an if statement. So all we're gonna do is click on this if statement that's right here, this little plus button. Tap on there, and we're gonna add if provided input is, so we wanna tap on the, that little prompt and is, and then this is going to be your password. So in this case, for these videos, I've been using one, two, three. You can set this password to whatever you want to. So remember that password, because if you don't, then you're probably not going to remember it. So just keep that in mind. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and basically get into the open app option. So we want to click at the bottom right here, and we want to go and click on open app. So type in, I don't know why it just glitched up on me. So there we go. You want to type in open and then app. So I don't know why it's still not working for me. So just like this, and you want to click on open app. Now we want to go ahead and make sure this app is the app that we want to open. So in this case, if we want to pass code like Facebook, you want to go ahead and have that Facebook app just like this. Now drag and drop this particular application up, drag and drop that particular tab right under this if statement right there. Now, as soon as you've done this, you're pretty much good to go. Now, all you have to do now is click on the share button at the bottom. So click on that share button, and then we want to click add to home screen. So tap on this add to home screen button right here. And all we're going to want to do is change this to Facebook. So change this particular name to Facebook. And all we want to do now is go into our Safari browser or internet browser of some sort. And we want to get our, and all we want to do is download a PNG file of Facebook. So just download the Facebook icon, like a picture of the Facebook icon, just like this, because we're going to have to set this up for a shortcut. So click save to photos. And then you want to go ahead and click on this option right here. Click on choose photo. Click on that Facebook icon right there. Click choose. And then you can go and click add. Now, you will see that that Facebook icon will now show up on our home screen, and watch what happens. When we tap on it, it's going to ask for our passcode, and it will only open if we actually properly type in our passcode properly like this, and then we'll open up the Facebook app. So, that's basically how it's done. It's a super basic process. I would recommend also deleting the, or just removing the other Facebook icon from your home screen, but that's basically how it works. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.